everybody, it's Dima Osko here. For today's video, I'm gonna show you how I created this beautiful, soft, romantic look and transformed it into this dramatic, sexy look. If you'd like to see how I did it, then please keep on watching. Starting with a face primer. I'm applying this primer when I'm shiny most or if I have any large pores. Also this primer is going to help my makeup last longer and glides on much easier. Next I'm moving to foundation. Apply the foundation with a big fluffy brush and actually I use just a little bit of foundation to give my skin that very airbrushed light coverage and I'm dragging whatever left over on the brush down to my neck, my ears, the back of my neck, even if my chest was showing, I would have dragged it down a little bit down to my chest so everything have the same color and same texture. Now concealer. I'm applying a little bit of concealer under my eyes to cover my under eye circle and a little bit on the eyelid as an eyeshadow primer. Now blend this concealer with a brush or your finger, whatever is more convenient, whatever is easier for you. Now something about a wet spongy makes the skin looks a whole lot better. So I'm using the spongy to blend in any streaks from the brush and to absorb any excess foundation. Now moving to eyes. The first color I'm using is this matte pink eyeshadow. I'm starting to apply this eyeshadow little by little to my eyelid until I have that desired color and coverage. Next color I'm using is the cinnamon matte eyeshadow. I'm gonna apply this eyeshadow under the eyes using this big fluffy brush to create this smoky, grungy look. Next step is a black eyeliner. I'm applying this eyeliner just in the corner of my eyes. And next step is my favorite, it's mascara. I'm applying a little bit of mascara on the top eyelashes. And I'm making sure to take the time to separate my eyelashes so they don't clump in together and it's blush time. I'm taking a little bit of this pink liquid blush and applying it with a big fluffy brush on my cheeks. And if you get heavy handed like I did, grab your foundation brush with whatever left over on it and try to blend in the edges and soften up the color. If it's not soft enough, then you're more than welcome to grab a little bit more foundation and work into the cheeks until you get the desired color. Next, bronzer. For bronzer, I'm just adding it literally just to bronze my face to give it more dimension and more color. I am not doing it to contour. If I want to contour, I would have chose a different shade. And just like the foundation, I'm dragging it down to my neck, ears, back of my neck, anywhere that it's visible. And for the brows, I'm going to use this clear eyebrow gel to separate them and make them look more defined and groomed. And now for highlights. I'm starting with this pen highlighter to highlight the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and the cupid bow. Now grabbing my highlighting palette, I'm going to use the pink shade as a highlight slash blush. So I'm applying it where the blush would go and where the highlight would go. Just to create a little bit more glowiness to my skin. Next I'm grabbing the white color of this highlighting palette and applying it where I applied previously my pen highlighter and on the high point of my cheeks. The same highlighter I'm grabbing a smaller brush to highlight the inner corner of my eye to open up my eyes and make them look brighter. Now lips. I'm using this lip pencil to line my lips and fill in my whole entire lip. This lip pencil basically is the same shade as my lip. I just want to make them look more defined and crisp. And for some glossy licious lips. I'm going to use this high gloss lip conditioner to keep my lips glossy and hydrated all day long. The last step for this makeup look is invisible powder. I'm going to apply it under the eyes so my concealer doesn't crease. On the chin, around the nose, a little bit on my forehead, basically what I get shiny most. And that's it for this soft look and let's bump it up a little bit and make it more dramatic. 
First thing I'm doing is blotting down some of that lipstick from my previous look. Then grab a black eyeliner, apply it inside of the waterline, then with a brown eyeshadow, and with a small brush, I'm gonna smoke up under the eyes close to the lash line so it doesn't look too perfect. I want it to look messy. Then I'm grabbing the cinnamon color again. With the same big fluffy brush, I'm smoking under the eye even more. I'm depositing more color, more smoky, more smudgy. And that's it for the under eyes. I'm gonna grab that brown color from earlier and smoke up the crease just to create more definition and dimension to my eyes. I'm taking a little bit of that shimmery pink eyeshadow and applying it to the middle of my eyelid just to give it that wet, greasy, sweaty look. Now with a deeper pink lip pencil, I'm gonna line up my whole entire lip and fill it in. It's basically the same color as my lips, but slightly enhanced. Then I'm mixing this hot pink with the white color to create a color that looks like this. If you already have something like that, then go ahead and use it. I'm applying it all over the lips on top of the lip pencil. Back to the concealer. I'm gonna clean up that little bit of an eyeshadow that it's dragging my eye down. It's gonna instantly lift your eyes. And that's it, now you have it. So hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell to stay up to date and let me know in the comment below what would you like to see next. And by the way, all the products are linked to the description box below and so is where you can find me and more of my work.